All right, Oliver, we're at um, the Conservative Party conference in Manchester. What, what's the mood um, and how's it going for you? It's a really positive mood at conference. I think a lot of people are hugely enthused about the issues being discussed as a party. There's a lot of discussions and I've attended a lot of events about the environment and getting to net zero, about housing, about making sure that we build enough homes for the entire country and about levelling up so that everyone has the opportunities created by a dynamic, diverse market economy. We've seen some great economic news as we bounce back, but we've got to bounce back better. So there's a really positive mood about discussing how to do that. And how do the discussions that take place here um, translate to the people back in Camden? How, what, what, what can they get from this? Well, there's a huge number of discussions with ministers, with senior MPs, with advisors to the government to make sure that they understand the challenges being faced by communities all over the country. So when we talk about levelling up, we're talking about levelling up every corner of our country. And because of discussions that have taken place by myself, but also concerned leaders like Rachel Rotherham in Westminster, Elizabeth Campbell in Kensington and Chelsea, we have made sure the government realises that levelling up includes London, embraces London and empowers London. And we're, we're six months roughly away from the um, Camden Council elections. Um, you're the leader of the uh, opposition in Camden. What do you think the big issues will be as we go into those, those, those ballots? It's not really what I think the big issues will be. It's what residents think the big issues will be, because they're the ones that get to vote. And fundamentally, there are things that come up time and time again on the doorstep about how filthy Camden streets are. We have the most fly tipping in the country, and Camden Conservatives are committed to restoring weekly bin collections. They're concerned about uh, cohesion and crime issues in our area. We've seen drive-by shootings, we've seen stabbings, we've seen a council that's been aloof and distant from solving those problems, and Camden Conservatives will solve them and address those, talk to the communities and embrace them. And we need to make sure that we're also environmentally friendly. I'm the director nationally of Tories for Climate Action. I think we need to go further and faster as a society, as a whole world. But that also starts in Camden, which means we want to install more electric vehicle charging, points, we want to plant more trees, and we want to teach every kid in Camden to learn how to cycle. Those are the really key things that are important in the council elections, a cleaner, greener, safer borough, and those are not things we've heard from Labour over the last four years. And in the past, the Conservatives in Camden have called for a view of the, uh, the waste collection uh, contract. Um, it's been quite a big issue over the, over, over the course of this administration. In the last week at the Labour Party conference, um, Rachel Reeves, um, Shadow Chancellor, said that, that she supports a, a wave of insourcing. Would you? Would that be part of a review in Camden? Would you? Would you? Could you see the waste contract coming back in house? Uh, no stone should be left unturned, and no option taken off the table. But in sourcing and in housing has been a mantra of the Labour left that has failed on a number of other services. They brought in house our drains uh, and gully clearance uh, cl cleansing program uh, last year. It led to a large number of floods this year. So you can't think that being ideological is going to solve the problems. What I think is really, really great is talking to ministers about what the Environment Bill, which is passing through the House of Lords right now, will mean for local councils. One of those things, and it's a sexually named Section 45 AZE Paragraph 2B guidance, that will mean that the government can specify how often people's bins should be collected. I hope that they will specify in that guidance they should be collected every week and therefore it puts the onus on councils to explain why they are denying that basic service to residents. In Westminster, in Kensington and Chelsea, both Conservative run councils, bins are collected for every single resident at least twice a week and there's no reason why Camden can't do the same except the ideological approach of the Labour administration. And finally, you're the, you've been the leader for a while now, We're going into these elections. Um, firstly, what Will you be standing on, staying on as a, as a leader of the Conservatives in Camden? And what would you say to a Conservative voter in Camden who feels a bit hopeless about the, uh, the, the, the kind of strength of the Labour Party in Camden over the recent years and how many seats they have in the, in, in the council? It's been a real pleasure to be a, a councillor for Hampstead and being the leader of Camden Conservatives. I've lived in Camden uh, all of my adult life. I've lived in Hampstead for the last 13 years and I want to continue to represent it. Now it's up to party members to decide if that gets to be the case. But going into next May, we've got a track record over the last several years, consistently under myself and my predecessors, of standing up against the maladministration and incompetence of the leadership of Camden Council and making sure that they are held to account and making sure that residents all over the borough have an alternative is of absolute paramount importance to me. Now, I've been speaking to residents not just in my own Hampstead Town Ward, but all over the borough, from Highgate to Hoburn, Regent's Park and Belsize Park and everywhere in between, and everybody is saying the same thing.
They're sick of an out-of-touch council. They're sick of past up opportunities, and they're sick of the council leadership's priorities being put ahead of the people's priorities.